additional form of abuse that is unique to older women is neglect. Neglect can be defined as failure by responsible persons to meet essential basic needs of the dependent person, such as the provision of medical attention or medications, food, hydration, hygiene, or clothing, which results in a serious risk to their health and safety. Unintentional neglect occurs when a carer does not have the skills or knowledge to care for a dependent person who is unable to meet those needs on their own. Carers may not be aware of the types of support that are needed and available. They might also be ill themselves and are thus unable to provide care. Neglect is considered intentional, sometimes called active neglect, when the dependent person is intentionally harmed and abandoned. It is also intentional when the carer refuses to allow other people to provide adequate care. Specific forms of neglect include inadequate provision of food and water. Here's your sandwich. Oh no, not peanut butter again. Well, I don't do cucumber sandwiches and cream teas. You know, it's what she used to give me. If it was good enough for me, it should be good enough for you. Look, I might be home late tonight. Jim and I have some business to do. So here are a few crackers to tide you over. Isolation of the dependent person so that they lack mental, physical, and or social contacts. See, is there any mail for me? I never heard from any of my friends. The dependent person is abandoned or left unattended for long periods of time or is locked in the house alone, or when the dependent person must lay in the bed most of the time, either because they have a lack of mobility or they are tied down. Inadequate or inappropriate use of medication, for example, if the dependent person is over-sedated in the middle of the day. Mary. Mary. Oh, um... I'm hungry. Are you on your way out to the store again? Oh, hey guys. Oh, Phil, you're back. How was school today? Oh, there's no school today, Gramps. Just practice. Okay, mm. I am on my way out. Dad, you stay comfortable. I'll uh, grab some food and bring it back later. But Mary, I'm hungry now. You'll be fine for a little bit, Dad. I'll hurry, okay? Mm. Can you get your grandpa a glass of water and take him back to his room? Here, Dad, make sure you take your pill today, too, okay? I thought I already did. Nope, and you missed yesterday, too, so just take a couple of extra. Mm. He'll be fine, he just needs a nap. What'd you say? Nothing, Dad. You make sure to have a lie down. Okay, I'll uh, see you guys when I get back. Mm. All right, come on, Gramps. Let's go. Alright. Almost there, Gramps. Almost there. Alright, and... Oh! Yeah, there you go. There you go, Gramps. Let's go. Wait, you're not gonna just leave him like that, are you? He'll be fine. I don't know, man. That just doesn't seem right. He'll be fine. My mom gave him something that's going to help him sleep for a while. Come on, we're going to be late for practice. The dependent person is not provided with needed hearing or walking aids or when the clothing that is provided is inadequate for the season. Possible signs of neglect include multiple large bed sores, unexplained weight loss, malnutrition or dehydration, constipation, under or over medication, absence of required assistive technologies, poor hygiene, the person is dirty or smells strongly of urine, poor or nervous interactions between the older person and the caregiver family, signs of withdrawal, depression, or passivity. Possible consequences of neglect include depression, emotional suffering, infectious illness, and or premature mortality.